Let's talk today about one of my favorite but overlooked features of Chrome, which is the ClickUp Chrome extension. So if you are in Chrome, which I pretty much only use that browser. I don't think, sometimes on accident, I will use Safari. Like if I've just reformatted my computer and because Mac obviously created Safari, it will go there. But otherwise, I pretty much use Chrome for everything. So if you also are a Chrome user, there is a an extension from ClickUp. It's free and it makes your job a whole lot easier, especially when it comes to email. So let's go ahead and take a look at that extension. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because I just love ClickUp so much, I can't stop talking about it. So I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. The first thing you should know is if you don't have the ClickUp Chrome extension, if you just Google ClickUp Chrome extension, it will be the first thing that appears. You can head over here and then install that Chrome extension right from here. Now we already have it, so it's only gonna give us the option to remove it. And it should be noted that ClickUp Chrome extensions, well actually all Chrome extensions, are specific to the profile you have over here in the top right. So over here, this is one profile. Over here, I have Lisa one, um, and I still have the pretty fabulous profile. So if I open this profile, um, clearly I've just never used it, but you can see all of the Chrome extensions up here. There are none because I've never used this. But if I head over to this Chrome uh, ex profile, the Lisa Seifert one, then you can see I have a ton of different extensions. So something to keep in mind if you are someone who toggles in between different Chrome extensions at any given time. Um, so now the cool thing is where can you find your Chrome extension? So a couple places. One is over here inside your uh, bookmark bar at the top, you're going to open this up and you're going to have, you're going to go to settings and see where it says floating buttons. If you toggle that, I think it's default on, I toggled mine off. Um, if you toggle that on, you're going to have this Chrome floating extension for ClickUp. Now you can move this to wherever you want. I believe it defaults to the bottom right, but you can move it to the left to the top, to the middle. So it's kind of cool like that. It kind of just goes where you want it to go. And then when you open it up, um, you're gonna be able to change more things in settings. You can obviously turn off the email feature. I would definitely not do that because I love this. Um, and the same with the others, I would just leave them all on. The floating button's probably the only one if it really annoys you on different pages, um, I would take that off. Notepad is really cool. So Notepad, you can just keep adding notes to yourself down here. Uh, remember, to buy cat food. Um, and then you can put even more notes, uh, Purina and uh, Fancy Feast. So, and then I need uh, cat treats too. <laughs> so I can put all of that inside of there so I can have notes within notes. Uh, and these are just personal to you, like until you actually make these a task, no one can see them in case you're like worried if you have a space that like has access to other people. And then over here, you can add email this way. I actually don't like to do this. I actually like to add email from inside my email um, inbox. So inside your email inbox, anytime you open something, you're going to see this little ClickUp extension. Um, and that's because we left it on. Remember I said in the settings and I'm going to click add to ClickUp. So inside of here, it's automatically going to bring this up and I can either attach this to an existing task or I can make a new task out of this. So over here for destination, these are your spaces. So maybe I'm going to stick it in writing, even though it has nothing to do with that. And then I'm going to stick it in marketing and email marketing. Um, and I'm just going to, so what it does is it takes the subject line of the email and it names that as the task. And um, I could make notes to myself, like look into this for the next book release and I can go ahead and say create new task. Now the cool thing about this is if I go back into my ClickUp and we go into writing, we go into marketing and we go to email, I'm going to see that send email to BookSuite. So when I open this and I double click this, um, I'm going to be able to see, oh, I guess that's a different email. <laughs> so just kidding. Um, let me go ahead and open the correct one. Let's refresh this. Oh, social media and content manager. So clearly I use this thing all the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this and now I can see my email and it looks perfect. 
with all of the formatting perfectly intact, which I don't believe you can do if you try to copy and paste it. It looks a little weird. So I really like that. And plus, if you want to share an email with another team member, but you don't want them to have access to your email or that you have too many things that you forward to them, this could be another great way to kind of just keep it organized. So let's head back over here. Um, so you had email, we did screenshots. You can take an entire screenshot and attach it just like you did that email. So I could do an entire screenshot of this. Um, and then I can make little markings too. I can put circles in here. I can make a box. Um, I can actually write text to myself. This is a note to myself. And then I can click done. It's gonna save it just like that. I can again, attach it to a task or add it to a new task. Um, so if we added this to a new task, we could say just testing out the screenshot. And again, I can pick a new thing. So and maybe instead of marketing, I put this in book tours and I go ahead and create that. And then when I come back over here and I jump into book tours, I should be able to see testing out the screenshot and I can see my screenshot there. And same thing uh, when you go over here to, well, let me just show you uh, the screenshot. If you want to select an area over here, I can just select a small area and it's only going to take that area and add that as an attachment. So um, we're going to go ahead and go back over to the ClickUp extension to go through the rest. Time tracking, I actually don't use this, but it's pretty easy. You just select any task from down here and it just starts going ahead and counting the time for you in the background. Um, I actually never use the bookmark extension. Um, you could try it. I don't see a lot of value, honestly, in this because I use the bookmarks inside my browser. Um, and then you can actually add a task from right inside this Chrome extension. So that is everything that is awesome and amazing about the Chrome extension. Again, the number one feature to me is really this email uh, that's pretty much 99.9% .9 of what I do with it. Otherwise, I do like going right into ClickUp and entering things directly. So hope that was helpful and I will see you all later. Bye.